Hey, welcome back to the Fab Lab. Today we're gonna to do another practical 3D printing project. This time what we're gonna do is look at building end caps for any number of things. It's a very simple process to make and it's incredibly useful. Stay tuned. So today we're going to learn how to make two different kinds of end caps. And these are really simple. All they really boil down to is two cylinders, one of which is hollowed out. I'll show you how to do both in Tinkercad. The first one I'm going to make was a request from my wife to take this cup, which is a pill cup, and create a cap for it. So that's what I did. So creating this kind of cover is about as simple as it can get. The hardest part is really just getting the diameter right across the top of the cap so that it fits snugly. Let's make one ourselves. Let's grab a cylinder, grab a cylinder, and I'm just gonna change the color so that it's a little clearer what I'm working on here. And let's assume that uh, we have a, a diameter of 35 that we wanna do. So let's put 35 on one side, and then 35 over here. And there's our basic cap. And then let's duplicate that. So we have a second one. And this one we're gonna make just a little bit bigger because we actually want the space for the hole. So what we're doing is this is gonna be our hole. And you can see that on this model here. You can see that there's a hole inside. So this is going to be our hole, and we're and and as you recall, it's 35 in diameter. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to make this slightly bigger. We'll make this 37, and make this 37. So now we have a slightly larger object, and what we can do is make scale that up slightly, move that in here, and then use the alignment tool to just that's already centered to center it, and then cut a hole out. And you'll see that there's one mistake. It's a ring, not a cap. So let's undo that. I also wanna make the cap smaller, so let's just drop the cap size down a little bit. What do we need to do to make it work? Just bring this up a millimeter or so, depending on how thick you want the top of the cap. Now we group it together and we have a cap. So what we're looking at is just an incredibly simple thing. We're looking at uh, two cylinders, one slightly larger than the other, one made into a hole and centered and lifted a tiny bit. That's all there is to it. And you can make caps that fit just about anything. So I also wanted to show you how I get the size right. What I do is after I design it, I export it from Tinkercad or Fusion 360, bring it in and then lower it down so there's just a little bit left. And that means that the print time is really short. So I send that to the printer and do it over and over again until I get the size just right. Simple cup, make a cap. The second one was out in the workshop and I'll show you that now. So the other item we're gonna make in this project is this cap for this vice handle. And I made one in white and I made one in black. And that's because I moved these tables around. Both of these tables have a set of six drawers in them. And I could never remember which set of drawers had which stuff. But now that I was able to make one in white, I know that the, the table with the, white drawer, with the white caps has one set of stuff. And the table with the black caps has the other set of stuff. So let's take a look at how those are made. So all we're doing is we're going to be adding two small additions. We're going to be adding a little screw hole so that we can screw this thing on and hold it to the wooden part. And then we're going to be adding this nice little dome at the top to just make it look prettier on that piece of wood. So what we're going to do is we'll pull out our cylinder. We're going to start with a cylinder one more time. And let's make this one green. Let's make it a greener green. There we go. And let's make it um, 25 by 25. So we'll go 25 here, and we'll go 25 here. And that's going to be our inside diameter. And again, you can make this 
you know, 25.03, your measurement of what fits over the piece of wood is really the most important part. Let's duplicate that. So this is going to be our hole. And uh, this is going to be the cap piece. So since it was 25 by 25, let's make this a little bigger. Let's make it 29 by 29. That'll make give us a little bit of a thicker hole. And then let's do one more thing and bring out one more cylinder. And let's make this blue. And this guy we're going to make, let's make him three by three. By three, come on. There we go. So we have this little three millimeter by three millimeter piece. And we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Come on. There we go. 90. We want to rotate that 90, like so. And in fact, that's not a half bad spot to be right there. So we could just jam that in there. And let's pull it out for a moment, though, so that you can see where the hole goes. Make this a hole as well. Okay, so we take our hole. As before, we align it. So it's a line there and a line there. And we could cut that out. We're actually going to not cut the hole out right now, but I want to show you how the screw hole fits in. So let's, let's leave that there for the moment. This is going to go in here. And you can see you could, uh, you could in theory, align it along these two objects. So they're centered, but they're actually already centered there. And that's that's the screw hole. And so what'll happen is when when these are joined, the hole is cut. You can see this hole. You can barely see the hole. There we go. You can see the hole is cut in the object, and you can see that from the top as well. We're actually not gonna do that hole cut right this second. So we're gonna undo that hole cut and we're gonna undo uh, the other hole up here this back where we had it because we're going to put our dome in next so the dome is a sphere and if you recall our dimensions are 29 by 29 and since this is a sphere they're also 29 high and there's our sphere and we could just bring it in here pull this out because we're going to be centering up some stuff I could just bring this in here and center everything up. But as you can see, the dome isn't in quite the right spot. We need to lift the dome up. So we'll just select the dome. Pull it up. And as you can see, that looks just perfect. So when we combine these we now get that nice sphere now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a cross section just so you see what it looks like inside so i'm going to take this make this big bring this right down to the middle and then combine it and as you can see what we've got going on inside is that first hole cut out this area, which is where the actual piece of wood, the wood handle is going to go. And this area is solid, but that doesn't matter. It just gives us the dome look we want. Let's, uh, let's undo that. And I'm actually going to show you the cross section again in a second. I'll put this guy in here. And I'm going to group these. And let's cross-section this again. This is a neat trick, by the way, just doing a quick cross-section that you later undo. That way you can kind of see what your internal structure looks like when it's difficult to see. So there's that hole. And you can sort of see how this whole piece comes together. Let's get rid of that. And delete that. And then we have another cap. So all I did was just put a little screw here to hold them. And as you can see, they don't come out when I release them. 
So there you go. I mean, 3D printing doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't always have to be, you know, little cute things like my friend Yoda here. 3D printing can be simple and useful and solve an immediate tangible problem in a very short time. This uh, cat took me maybe 10 minutes in Tinkercad to design up and maybe 30 minutes to print. And I was able to produce a solution for something that had been bugging my wife. Is it a big project? No. Is it a practical project? Oh yeah. So there you go for ZDNet's DIYIT. My name is David Gewertz. Go out there and build, make, design, 3D print something awesome.